Have you ever felt like you're not good enough, like everyone else knows what they're doing and you're just faking it? Yeah, same. When I started coding and building my first product, imposter syndrome hit me hard. I constantly doubted myself, questioned if I was good enough, and almost gave up more times than I can count. But here's the thing, every developer, entrepreneur, and creator has felt this way. The difference is whether you let it stop you or push through it. In this video, I'll share how I overcame imposter syndrome, built my first real product, and actually launched it, even when I didn't feel ready. So first, let's talk about what imposter syndrome actually is. It's that voice in your head that says, I don't know enough to do this. Other people are way better than me. What if people find out I'm not actually that good? The truth is, it's not a sign that you're bad at something. It's a sign that you're learning. I used to think real developers never struggled. Then I saw experienced engineers Googling things all the time and realized everyone is figuring things out as they go. Once you understand that imposter syndrome isn't proof of failure, it's proof of growth, it becomes easier to handle. For me, the only way I got past imposter syndrome was by actually building something. I stopped worrying about whether I was ready and just started working on fast folders, my Chrome extension, and guess what? I didn't know everything. I ran into problems constantly, but I figured it out step by step. I also forced myself to launch it, even when it didn't feel perfect. And that's when I had a huge realization. No one expects perfection. People care more about what your product does than whether your code is perfect. The more I put my work out there, the more my confidence grew. And the best part? The things I doubted myself about turns out they weren't even a big deal. If you're struggling with imposter syndrome, here's what helped me. One, just start building. Don't wait until you feel ready because that moment never comes. Two, use AI and Google like everyone else. Even senior devs look things up constantly. Three, remember no one cares as much as you think. Your work doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be useful. Four, surround yourself with other builders, being part of a community like Twitter devs, Discord groups, or even YouTube comments makes a huge difference. Five, look back at your progress. If you compare yourself to where you started, you'll realize how far you've come. One of the biggest turning points in my journey was getting my first real users, people outside of friends and family, actually using what I built. It's one thing to work on a project alone, but when someone you've never met signs up, uses your product and even pays for it, that's when it all starts to feel real. That first sale, no matter how small, is a huge moment because it proves that your idea isn't just something cool in your head, it's actually solving a problem for people all over the world. And that's an incredible feeling. I still remember seeing my first payment come through for fast folders and realizing, wow, this thing I built is valuable to someone. That's when the imposter syndrome starts to fade because you have real proof that what you're doing matters. It also changes how you think. Instead of just building for yourself, you start thinking about how to improve the experience for your users, fix issues faster, and add features that make their lives easier. Your project evolves from just an idea into something that genuinely helps people, and that's what keeps you going. Imposter syndrome never fully goes away, but you get better at ignoring it and pushing forward. Every time I build something new or try something outside my comfort zone, those doubts still creep in. But now, instead of letting them stop me, I use them as a sign that I'm growing. If you're feeling stuck, just take the next small step. Whether it's starting a new project, sharing your work online, or launching something, even if it's not perfect, just do it. You'll be surprised at how much you learn along the way. And remember, you're not alone in this. Every developer, entrepreneur, and creator has been where you are. The difference between those who succeed and those who don't, they kept going. If this resonated with you, drop a comment below. Have you ever felt imposter syndrome while coding? How did you deal with it? I'd love to hear your experiences. And if you're on this journey too, make sure to subscribe for more solo dev content. I'll be sharing more of my experiences, what I'm learning and how I'm building my own projects. See you in the next one.